Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and thank you very much for joining me for another episode of De Rotten Bullen. Before we get into today's episode, a bit of an apology. I realised at the end of the last episode, I think it was, my camera once again packed up. I am trying to get this looked into as it is obviously a long term issue. So potentially for the next couple of weeks, it may be an audio only episode or series of episodes but I am looking to get the camera repaired and get everything on the laptop up and running again so fingers crossed you only have to listen to my voice for a little amount of time and then we will get back to the actual face cam and you can see my lovely face once again but still in the last episode you saw us overturn a 2-1 deficit against Arsenal in the Champions League by winning 2-0 in the home leg. Since then, we have pushed forwards a little bit into the season. But before I show you how we've been getting on, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel out. If you haven't done so already, now is a great time to do it as this season is hotting up quite nicely. You can see from the league table there, we are in a two-horse race with Borussia Dortmund over who is going to be winning the Bundesliga. So a little look at what's been happening. So only two games played since the Arsenal game. We've had a 6-2 demolition of Borussia Mönchengladbach where Ackman, Kabak, Brenner, Forsberg and Talis Magna were all on the score sheets. And then we had a 3-0 win against Augsburg where Talis Magno, Emil Forsberg and Savio got the goals. So like I said, in the little intro part, we are in a two-horse race with Borussia Dortmund for the league title. We now have a two-point advantage over them, played the same amount of games with a far superior goal difference. So, today's game is going to be against TSG 1899 Hoffenheim. So, let's have a little look at the lineup that we are going to put out. So the lineup is going to be Galaxy in goal, Nets, Gvardiol, Ozan Kabak, and Lamptey. We've got Pino wide left, Sandri, Tales Magno in the middle, with Forsberg, Ali, and Brenner as the attacking three. So then let's jump in and see how we get on against Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. Here we go then. So we are off and running with another game in the Bundesliga, and there's a, a highlight coming early. A goal kick from Hoffenheim is dealt with well by us. The ball breaks to Tales Magno. He has a shot inside the box that is dealt with by the goalkeeper. Uh, we had a suggestion on the other series about maybe slowing down the speed of the matches. It seems to be working quite well in the Englishman Abroad save. So I'm going to be doing that for this series too. Gives me a little bit more time to describe what's going on. You can see it a little bit clearer because I think... Even though the game looks pretty average paced on my laptop, it seems to pick up speed in the upload. So we are going to be going with that for this save too. And as I am waffling away here talking about game speed, we are having a quick attack. As Nets plays in Ali Akman, and there's his 26th goal of the season. Ali Akman doing the things that he does best. Breaking in behind the defenders. So, a good build up play here. Gvardio finds Nets. Nets then runs into the space, passes the ball round the corner. I think the defender's vision was probably blocked, and Ackman is in behind. And the goalkeeper comes out to meet him, but cannot keep the ball out of the net. He smashes it home to make it 1 0. Straight from the kickoff, Hoffenheim are knocking it about quite nicely, but it looks like we are going to intercept the ball here as Kabak takes it off of him. Talis Magno then gets it out wide, he beats his man, tries to get into the box, gives the ball back. Only as far as Sandri though, who heads the ball forwards. Brenner was left in acres of space and somehow doesn't get a shot off. The Hoffenheim defender gets back and kicks it out for a corner. Then from that resulting corner, Forsberg crosses it in, Ozan Kabak with the header and it goes over the bar. So, a pretty frantic few couple of minutes there. Uh, not too sure what was going on with Brenner. Normally, the Brenner that we know and love would have just smashed that ball into the net instead. He kind of hesitated, so not too sure what happened there. But 
I'm sure that if he gets another chance in this game, he will not make the same mistake twice as we are on the attack again. Sandley out to Lamptey. Looks to get into the box. And there is Brenner scoring a cheeky goal. This one here looks like it was a back heel. So Lamptey smashed the ball across. Brenner is at the near post. Let's have a little look at this on the replay. So Magno to Sandri. Sandri plays it to Lamptey. He takes a touch, keeps it in well. And then as he hits this cross in, Brenner indeed does back heel that past the goalkeeper at the near post. And that is a typical Brazilian finish. Fantastic finish there to double our lead. And we are firmly in control of this game. Hoffenheim struggling really to get anything going. They've only had the one shot on target to our four. And there is four minutes before half time and they are lumping the ball forwards. The goalkeeper really could have played themselves into trouble there as we intercepted the ball. But they do get it back and Hoffenheim are knocking it around now. Wagyu is beating men down the right hand side. Nets goes in, makes the tackle. Oh, he's given a penalty here. I don't think this is a penalty, but then again, it's against my team. So I would say that they are going to VAR to check. Let's see what the VAR says. Penalty awarded. So they must have seen something that we couldn't from here. It looked like Nets just dangled a foot. So maybe the player ran into him and went down, got the penalty. And Kramerich has reduced the lead to one goal. He smashes the penalty past Galaxy in goal. A um, little bit of news on Galaxy. Um, his contract is due to be up at the end of the season as Brenner makes it 3 1. That was as easy as you like. Ali Ackman with the assist. 50 goals up for Brenner to make it 3 1. But yeah, Galaxy's contract is running out at the end of the season. I went to offer him a new contract. He wanted three years, which at his age I wasn't prepared to commit to. He also wanted to be guaranteed as a starter. I think now is the time maybe to go our separate ways and find somebody else, maybe a younger goalkeeper who could come in and help us moving forwards. Speaking of moving forwards... Second half, we moved into the second half, had a corner there that was crossed in, it's hit the frame of the goal and has come out now for a counter-attack for Hoffenheim. And Guardiol clatters into somebody there and gives the free kick away. So Galaxi to start us out from the back to Kabak, Guardiol plays it back to Galaxi, goes out to Nets, Nets with the ball over the top, Brenner has laid that into the path of Ali Ackman, he takes it on his chest, gets into the box. And I'm just surprised that the net didn't ripple there. Hit the ball straight at the goalkeeper. And we have a corner from the resulting corner. Forsberg crosses it in. Guardiol can't get anything on it. And Hoffenheim are on a counter-attack. They have a couple of men forward. Lamptey steps across. He's probably going to get a booking for this. Didn't show it, but he did get a booking for the trip. Which was probably an essential trip because the player would have been in behind. Now Lamptey himself is the one running at defenders. He gets past two of them, lays the ball back to Sandri. And somehow he miscues his right-footed shot just past the post. So, interesting that I've just seen that we all of a sudden have a five-point lead at the top of the table, which means that Borussia Dortmund are not winning in their game. As Tales Magno is off on a run. Just beating men left, right and centre. It's running into the space. Nobody came to uh, close him down. But unfortunately, his left-footed shot isn't what we were looking for. He lifts that high and over the bar. So 70, about to come to the 70th minute. Hoffenheim have a throw in. They play into the middle. They're going to switch it out to the wing. Somebody needs to go make a tackle. Nets, I think that is, jumps in. And they are knocking it about still. They're inside the penalty area. Play out behind, or sorry, outside the penalty area. He's had a shot there, one of the Hoffenheim players. Luckily for us, that has just gone over the bar. Typically, I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but the ice cream man has just gone past the window. Literally could not have timed that any worse. And no, I'm not putting the headset down to go and buy an ice cream either. I am firmly with you for this game. As we are looking quite 
short on energy. But quite a lot of players I probably should have been substituting instead of listening to the ice cream man. But we are on the attack again. Brenner has turned his man. He's gunning behind. He very selfishly goes for goal. Smashes it in for his 37th goal of the season. A hat-trick in the game. Had every right to be selfish when you are going for a hat-trick. And it turns out Quebec is credited with an assist, even though it was really just a massive lump ball up the field. Brenner makes the most of it and smashes it home to give us a 4-1 lead. And it looks like we are going to be running out 4-1 winners over Hoffenheim. Fantastic result there. If we look at the stats, you can see in terms of the shots, shots on target, the XG, far exceeded anything that Hoffenheim were prepared for. Possession also 52%, so he had most of the ball. We took our chances well, and I think that is a very good result. I am going to skip forward and see how Borussia Dortmund actually got on. At one point in the game, it looked like they were drawing because we all of a sudden had a five-point lead at the top of the table. So let's see. Borussia Dortmund actually were losing. They actually lost 1-0 to Wolfsburg, and Emre Chan was sent off in the 93rd minute. So, breathing space at the top of the table. There was me thinking it was going to be a close-run thing here on in and it seems that we are going to be pulling away from Russia Dortmund towards the end of the season so fingers crossed we can just continue doing what we're doing and go on and win another league so I'm going to push forwards a little bit further into the season there aren't many games left looking at the Bundesliga we played 30 so maybe skip one game or two and then come back maybe go to the Champions League game I'm not sure who we have drawn there so we'll probably find that out but either of those two options will definitely be something that we are coming back for so at this point please again if you've got to this point in the video and you're enjoying the content please don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button to help the channel out. But for this one, that's going to be a wrap. Until the next one, I will see you soon.